Well guys, I hope this video ages poorly and this snapshot in time is a distant memory before long. But as it stands, uh, I find myself confined to my home, like many of you I'm sure, whether in the US or elsewhere in the world unfortunately, because of the coronavirus going around. So I have the essentials, bulk bath tissue, of course, 25 pounds of black beans, coffee, can't live without that, hard spirits for if things get bad enough. Seinfeld Marathon, keep our spirits up. Fearless guard dog. And something else I got in bulk recently. Could come in handy if things get bad enough. That's to feed this right here, the subject of today's video. Uh, my newest acquisition with uh, the end times very nearly upon us. Seems like as good a time as any to get one of these. So we're gonna do an unboxing, show exactly what you get when you purchase a WBP Fox rifle. Uh, I got mine from Atlantic Firearms. I understand they're also being sold by Arms of America, or they were, I should say. Everything is kind of slowed down here because of the virus. Um, so let's get to it. I should make a disclaimer. I am very far from an AK expert. Uh, if you want one of those, go talk to Robski at the AKOU. Very much an AR guy, kind of been stuck in my bubble since I got into the sport. But I have always wanted an AK, and my understanding is these WBP rifles are some of the higher quality ones available in the US right now, at least in terms of imports. Um, so the WBP is made uh, in Poland, in Rogów, Poland. Um, I actually looked it up since that's where I'm from. It's a very small town, uh, 1,500 people or so. So it's cool that they are on the world scene now making some of these high quality rifles. Happy to support them, especially in these trying times with the world economy slowing down. But let's see what you get when you order from Atlantic Firearms. Plain cardboard box, rifle comes shipped in foil. I elected to get the red furniture from WBP. Atlantic offers these with a few different finishes. You can get wood or polymer. Um, there are two wood finishes with the original WBP furniture, the more classic uh, tan or brown AK, and then also this Czerwone uh, legit finish. It actually says that on the box. That's pretty cool. The rifle ships with one magazine. I already took it out of the wrapper. Uh, it's just a standard 30 round Magpul PMAG. No metal feed lips or anything. I understand they offer another model, but that's what you get with just the WBP Fox. Uh, if you could check out here, you have the Polish Eagle crest. So that's nice to see. On the other side, one of the differences versus other AKs on the market um, is that the bolt is off colored here. It's obviously much lighter than the receiver. It is coated, it's my understanding, um, but that's what that looks like. Now, when I purchased this rifle from Atlantic, they were offering a promotion, um, what they called the WBP Fox Battle Pack. Uh, it was around half price versus what it usually is. What you get for your $69 is well, I'll go in order. You get two of these clear polymer WBP mags. I don't know if you can read that there. WBP made in Poland. So it's just a nice thing to come with the rifle from the uh, same manufacturer. You get two of these. You get a surplus Polish bayonet with what appears to be Bakelite furniture. So that is pretty cool. Nice and uh, aggressive looking. I'm sure Nancy Pelosi doesn't want us to have these. And then the last thing you get, probably the most um, controversial as far as this rifle goes, you get this Betel style uh, top rail for optics mounting. 
Most AKs do not have the means to mount this rail. The WBP in Polish military, a uh, better style, has these notches right here that the front of the rail slots into. And then back here, you have this mounting point, this rear mounting point. So this is a subject of some contention. A lot of people would prefer that these rifles left these out because my understanding is you have to slightly modify any other furniture to put on uh, as your stock. It is the standard AK pattern except for this little notch. You do get the hardware here to mount a side rail, so that's very cool. Um, I'm sure you can see my pajamas in this shot. Don't judge me. This is a quarantine, so I'm fine wearing my pajamas on camera. Anyway, let's put this aside, show you what else you get in the box with your WBP Fox from Atlantic Firearms. So, standard merch from Atlantic. Uh, patch, it looks like. Some stickers, haven't even taken those out. You do get a document from WBP, uh, instruction manual. So that's cool, that's in English. That shows you what the rifle looked like unfortunately when it left the manufacturer uh, due to import laws it had to come with that monstrosity of a stock and pistol grip uh, the mag well was only for single stack magazines you guys all know the drill no bayonet lug so we should be thankful that Atlantic with their partnership with WBP was able to bring it back to its former glory and then you get this document this is a really nice touch you don't see this every day um, especially with something mass produced. So this is uh, Raports Kontroli Jakości Wyrobu, which means it's a report of the quality of the um, manufacturer of this rifle. So as you can see, it's all in Polish, the original language of where it was produced. It looks like one employee went down the list and checked off that things were within spec. You have a signature, you have the date he did it. So it's just a really nice touch. Um, we're spoiled these days in that you could get a quality AR-15 for, it's, it's unreal, uh, under $500 with a warranty. Um, so to have something like this that was imported, um, you could tell was made with a little more of a old school, old world craftsmanship kind of thing. Uh, this is just nice to have, so I'll definitely keep this around as long as I have the rifle. So that's it. That's the WBP Fox Rifle. Uh, the next time you see it, we'll be out at the range for its first shots. Let's get it looking proper here with that clear mag. Uh, just one final thing, guys, not to sound preachy or anything, but um, as we all know, the world's not in the best place right now. So one thing I'd like to add in the presentation of this uh, rifle if you look up a gentleman called Mishiko, he has a channel. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to link to it, but he knows quite a bit more about AKs than I ever will. And he actually has a Q&A with WBP. The makers of WBP would very much like for us to know how fortunate we are as Americans to be able to own these for recreation, for defense, when it is much more difficult where this uh, beautiful rifle is made to own it as a civilian. Um, so none of us wants to think about ever needing to use these, even if things get bad enough, all these boogaloo ju jokes going around uh, right now. But we should be thankful, companies like WBP, and thankful for those that have uh, gotten us our rights here. So this rifle is imported, much like this dog. That's a story for another day. They come from the same place, though. Um, so next time you see this rifle, we'll be out at the range. Uh, we'll see you there. Out here at the range, the last day, in fact, that we can be out at the range before Illinois um, puts into practice its stay at home order due to the coronavirus so this might very well be the start of the boogaloo in which case good timing because we just got the wbp fox ak 
through Atlantic Firearms, imported from Poland. This handy, clear polymer 30-round magazine. There you go, WBP, made in Poland. Pretty cool. Uh, good timing, if only because these things apparently are not being imported anymore, nor are Wassers, nor are Arsenals, because the world is shut down. So, function test. Practically the first rounds through the gun. 30 rounds of Wolf steel ammo. This is actually the uh, 8M3 hollow point, but we're not shooting it for accuracy. So my fellow tactical accountant is behind the sights. Just gonna make some noise. Seems to work okay. Props to our uh, pilot there. Paying this guy good money for a reason. Flew in at the perfect time. A lot more where that came from. Tune in for that. We're going to have a lot of time to record uh, videos indoors now that everyone's under quarantine. Stay safe, guys. Uh, don't do anything too crazy. Hopefully the boog is just a big joke for now. But, uh, yeah, we'll catch you soon, hopefully.